Hello everyone, this is Ms. Fatma and this is a sneak peek into the main uh, piece of literature we'll be reading this week, so let's begin. We will be reading A Cup of Tea by Catherine Mansfield and let's... So, uh, A Cup of Tea was first published in the storyteller in May 1922 and it later appeared in The Dove's Nest and other stories in 1923. The protagonist here is a snobbish wealthy woman who only lends a helping hand to a poor girl because she thinks it'll make her look good. The author portrays a clear image of class difference and the attitude of people of different classes. Themes of materialism and class difference are explored in this story. You might have, you might see that the name of the author is familiar to you, Catherine Mansfield, because I, uh, I think you all read her story, The Doll's House, in grade ten. So she mostly writes short stories. So, a summary of the story. Uh, the protagonist, Ros Rosemary Fell, is a very wealthy woman. However, the narrator says that she's not the kind to be considered beautiful. She's very classy. Okay, Rosemary has been married for two years to a very rich man. Uh, her husband is called Rich Philip Fell. And she lives a very luxurious life. Shopping at high-end shops and buying anything she desires. Once she visits an antique shop, and the shopkeeper is very fond of her and seems to fancy her a lot. He shows her a small, shiny velvet box that's very beautiful. Rosemary is very pleased, but knowing the price to be 28 guineas, she, she decided not to buy it and asked the shopkeeper to save it for her. Guineas was like another word for pounds at that time, okay? Now, outside the shop, it's raining, and Rosemary is very upset that she can't buy the box now. She is approached by a timid-looking girl who asks her for money. The price of a cup of tea. That's the only thing the girl wanted. Rosemary thinks such things happen in books and sounds incredible. Thus, she decides to take the girl with her to her home. She wants to show the poor girl that rich people feel empathy for feel empathy for her kind for her kind. The girl is very shocked to receive such treatment. She's afraid at first, but agrees to go with her. And Rosemary thinks about boasting about this in front of her friends. So she basically wants to do this good deed, so just to feel good about herself or just to boast about it in front of her friends. Now, at the house, Rosemary takes the girl up to her bedroom and makes her sit near the fire on a comfortable chair. She helps the girl take off her coat and hat, but drops them on the floor, okay? That shows us her indifferent attitude towards the girl. The poor girl cries that life's too hard and she's too tired to carry on. She wishes to end her life. Rosemary consoles her and orders tea. The girl is served tea along with some food. Rosemary lights a cigarette while the girl eats, and after the girl's eaten some food, she appears livelier. Rosemary starts to ask her about her life, but she's interrupted by her husband's arrival. Philip is astonished to see the girl in his wife's room, and he asks the, for the girl's name. She says it's Smith. Philip then asks Rosemary to join him in the library to talk in private. Philip inquires about the girl, and Rosemary explains her philanthropic plans. Philip says that it's absurd to keep a stranger in the house like this, but Rosemary is keen on her mission. Then Philip mentions that the girl is very lovely and pretty, and this makes Rosemary insecure. Imagine, with all the wealth she has, she's still insecure because he said pretty about this poor girl. Rosemary leaves the library and picks up some money to give to, the, to poor Miss Smith. She then asks her to leave. After Miss Smith leaves, Rosemary dresses up nicely, makes her hair look nice, and wears her pearls. 
She joins her husband back in the library and lies that Miss Smith is insisting uh, and lies that Miss Smith insisted on leaving. She sits on her on his knees and asks him whether he likes her. He assures her that he likes her a lot. She then asks if she can buy that shiny velvet box from the antique store. Philip agrees, but that was not what she wanted to ask him. She really wanted to ask him after a pause this question. Am I pretty? Thank you very much for listening. I hope this was useful.